What's going on guys, World Watchers back again with another video for you guys. Our transfer gossip in the last two or three hours reported from the Telegraph. Positive news that Chelsea wanted to hear, especially that Chelsea were joining us by Munich in the last 16. So if you enjoy my content, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, hit the bell notification, stay with you more Chelsea. And like I say in all my videos, please comment your thoughts and opinions on each topic I speak about. Please look out for a video on this channel every one to three days. I'll be reporting on all Chelsea content. So... As you guys know, earlier today, Chelsea were joining us by Muno, of course. Mixed opinions. Many people worried about us getting destroyed. I can tell you now, we definitely won't be getting destroyed like the North London clubs. No way. We might lose, but definitely not. But we might have some positivity. The additions that we might be looking at in January could provide the green light for us to do well. So obviously in the last 24, 48 hours, we've been seeing news about Zaha, Ben White. And I don't mind these players. Honestly, I don't mind these players. They're good squad depth. But today's report is what I want to see. So Telegraph reported the last two hours about two wingers, especially Leon Bailey, which we've been linked for for like three or four years now. He's a Chelsea fan. And we've got Villarreal's winger, um, Samuel Chuck Ruzi. I had to make sure I pronounced it right. Hopefully I didn't get it wrong. Apologies. This is the first time I'm reporting on the player. So please do forgive me if I do get it wrong. Let me know in the comments below how you'd actually pronounce it. So, two wingers. Now, these two wingers are kind of exactly what we're looking for. We want to see them on the right wing cutting in. This is positive news for Chelsea fans. Now, if you don't want Zaha because he doesn't score enough goals, even though he's adapted to the Premier League, here's your, you know, your positive news that you might be getting very soon. So, 150 million uh, budget that Frank Lampard has which some of it will be taken away to Nathan Ake, most likely 40 million. They're still deciding whether to sign the player or not, which is explained in the Telegraph as well. But the wingers are key for Chelsea right now because we're not getting enough chances and there's not enough service for time Abraham and we need to see changes at this club. I don't want to see William. I don't want to see Pedro anymore. I know they'll, you know, feature for this team this season, but, you know, I'm looking at the future. We need players. Now, even though... Telegraph confirmed that Chelsea are looking at Sancho, they're looking at Werner. They don't think it's going to be happening in January simply because the Red Bulls are playing in Champions League against Tottenham, who got a lucky draw. And Sancho is doing fantastic for Dortmund. I think it was 10 assists, 10 goals, the first player in this campaign to reach that, even before Messi. So the youngster is on fire. The goal scorer is on fire as well. So I wish we can get these players, but it's not going to happen, guys. And as much as I want to tell you guys... We might get them. There might be a small chance. I wish, you know, I read a report one day saying, you know, we might still get these players. But the most important thing today is we are looking at wingers. Now, I know when I was doing my videos in the last two or three days talking about Zaha, there's a lot of, not hate, but they just wanted to stay away from Zaha simply because when he came to Chelsea, he didn't do well against Reese James. Reese James done really good against him. Had him in his pocket for sure. I'm sure you guys saw the video on social media where Zaha responded to the person. He had his mum in his pocket. <laughs> I found it a bit funny. It is a bit of banter. But I think people took it too serious. Too serious. And, you know, Leon Bailey. What, what's up with these wingers? You know, all these wingers say, I'm a Chelsea fan. Yeah, I saw Chelsea since I was young. Dio Drug was my idol. This, this, that. Posting about Chelsea back in the days. And it's beautiful to see. But why are we not signing these players? Why do we not show that ambition for the long term, get these players in and build a future? This is what I want to see. You can't tell me you're happy with the current squad. You can't tell me you think this squad is good enough for top four. It's not. You know, I think if we don't get a positive result, at least a draw against Tottenham, yeah, I think there's going to be many questions for this team. And I think we're nine to ten points ahead of Tottenham. They could go ahead of us this weekend. And if we want top four, it's not good enough. I know many Chelsea fans saying, back Lampard, I back Lampard. I honestly back Lampard. I will support him for as many years as possible. But he has to improve his in-game management. He has to improve the lineup. He has to improve his tactics. He needs a plan B. You cannot accept home defeats to teams that have many losses in a row and suddenly win against Chelsea. It's not good enough. We are not that level where we've dropped. We should be consistently up there. Coming to Stamford Bridge was one of the biggest fears for players. 
You know, we were on 86, 87 unbeaten at home. I know it was over a decade ago, but still, Stanford Bridge was one of those games where you went to the game and thought, yeah, we'll at least draw. You know, we shouldn't lose. Let's be honest now. So, I need that factor back. And I don't know what's going on with this team. Lampard spoke about it. The fans weren't, you know, helping as much. It was flat. But he understands as a fan what they're seeing is not good enough. And that's a Chelsea man. That's a pure Chelsea man. Complete professional. I support that. And he said, passes sideways, back to centre-back, sideways, centre-back, sideways, centre-back. It's not good enough. It's not what he wanted either. So what's going on with these players? There's something wrong in this team and it needs to change. And I feel signings are needed for this. I honestly feel signings. I don't care who it is. I don't care if it's Zaha. I don't care if it's Ben White. I don't care if it's Bailey. I don't care if it's Samuel. I don't care who it is. Nathan Ake. They see Nathan Ake as left back. This is how serious this left back position has, has got. Because Emerson's not trusted. Emerson's only playing because Marcus Alonso is that bad. He's expected to leave for Inter Milan. I know I'm a bit, you know, going a bit mad right now, but I have to make sure that failing to score in home defeats to West Ham and Bournemouth isn't good enough for this club. I don't want to accept lower mentality. I do not want to accept that. The reason why I'm telling you this, you guys might be thinking I'm reactionary. You guys might be thinking, oh, I'm overreacting in terms of, come on, let's calm down. It's only a few games. No, guys. We were on a run, six, seven wins in a row. I was happy, but I wasn't getting too ahead of myself. I wasn't saying we're going to win the league. I wasn't going to say, you know, we're getting top three. I wasn't saying anything like that. I said, let's judge in January where we are. After December fixtures of every three days of having the game, let's see where we are. We're already fumbling like in terms of the games in November. I told you guys, you have to have the patience. You have to see how these players perform against big teams. We're going to see against Tottenham, Arsenal, how this team reacts to Frank Lampard and the losses they've occurred in the last couple of games. Away from home, we are quite good. I'm happy with away from I feel we play a lot better. I think at home, we allow teams to play how they want. But away from home, the more space, the more running, the more chances we create counter-attacking football. Now, some people are saying that the football at home was like sorry ball in terms of slow passing. And stuff like that. And the players might not have the ability to play like that. Well. What is being discussed in training? What is being discussed? Honestly. What is being discussed? We're talking about Sancho. We're talking about. You know. Signing these players. But if we're not. Gelling as a team. How can we. Improve as a team? We're looking at the future. If you want to look at Klopp. If you want to look at Liverpool. If you want to create. History in terms of. You know, finishing 7th, no Champions League, nothing like that. Rebuilding team, not spending as much money as other big clubs. And still competing in Champions League, winning the Champions League, nearly winning the Premier League. Most likely going to win the Premier League this season. Can we do that? Like you lot said, man, maybe I need to calm down my expectations. I understand that. But there's no way we should be losing these games at home. So yeah, like it says on the Telegraph, the scouts are complying a list. Who they're looking at. Sancho, unlikely in January. Zaha, by Leverkusen, Liam Bailey, uh, Villarreal, Samuel, Chuck, yeah. I'm going to just call him short for Chuck now, you guys, yeah. I'm not going to get into it too much. Werner, uh, Red Bull against Tottenham. And Dembele's club for Leon against Juventus. We're, we're looking at all these players, yeah. We are definitely looking at these players. It's just about who can we get in January. Can we really put a bid in and secure these players away from the club some of these are playing the Champions League they're not going to leave Ben Chilwell not going to leave Atal not going to leave in terms of other clubs as well not in the Champions League I just don't see where we're going to be getting the quality but at least we're looking at this list at least I'm happy you know we're not like other clubs not looking at players who to bring in etc I'm happy we're looking at players I'm happy I feel we will sign at least two players in January window. If not, I am worried. I am worried for this window. I am worried for this season. And I hope, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Because that's positive. That's Chelsea bouncing back. And I'll take an L simply because I want to see Chelsea do well. But if not, guys, where do we go on from here? Let me know in the comments below your thoughts on the targets that we're looking at. Make sure you smash the like button. Get 100 likes. Subscribe. Hit the bell notification. Stay with you more. Chelsea. 
and also Patreon 2020 will be coming out the content. Link in the description. Donations minimum one dollar a month. Chelsea group chats on Discord, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, articles you can write for and grow your platform. Giveaways, Chelsea tickets, podcasts, everything that is usually free on the podcast. But if you want to support me, you can donate as well. But yeah, more dis- description coming out soon. Hit the notification, man. Look for a video on this channel every one to three days. Well, watch us. I'm out.